Hello and welcome to the Discover History YouTube channel and today we are looking at one of our objects, one of the objects that we use when we go into schools, one of the objects that we use for talks and the object in question is this oak box. So the question is what's in it? Well today's not a mystery object so I'm going to give you a little uh, guided tour of this box and it is a very very important box now this year um, we are celebrating or helping to celebrate what's known as Mayflower 400 and if you're not aware the Mayflower was the famous ship one of two ships originally that sailed from Britain across to America to found a colony there were already colonies out there, such as Jamestown, for example, except this was going to be a new one, a well-established one. That was the plan anyway. And uh, the interesting thing is, like everything in history, it is linked back to our home city or home county of Worcestershire. And that's because there's one of the most famous members of the Mayflower Pilgrims as such, really. And that's a man known as Edward Winslow. Now, Edward Winslow was born in Droitwich, the son of a salt merchant, actually. Uh, salt is, is, is one of the most famous things Droitwich is known for. They still extract um, brine out of the ground even today and they turn it into salt, which you can buy in the shops, by the way. And the interesting thing is, Edward Winslow grew up as quite an important person. Uh, he was educated at the King's School, for example, in Worcester, and then eventually went on to be a printer. And uh, whilst he was printing, that's where he got links with the Pilgrim Fathers as such, really. He started producing pamphlets for them, like the idea of a new life abroad. And that's the rest of the story, really. They sailed over to America. Now, if you are going to see... In the 17th century, if you're going to see in the Middle Ages, if you're going to see in the Tudor period, this box is going to be unbelievably important. There would have been more than one of these on board a ship. You never have one of these only because that would be too dangerous. You would carry about three or four. If we take the Mary Rose, for example, which is what this one's predominantly based on, um, the Mary Rose was actually carrying several, not one and two, it was carrying quite a few. There was even some smaller versions of it also. Now, this is what's known as a binnacle compass. And these were really, really well looked after. It has a sliding top to it, so this protects what's inside. Because like I said, this is a really, really magical item. And what you can see there is a compass. And the reason why it's called a binnacle compass is because it's designed to move as the ship rolls and moves up and down out at sea. So the idea is you've got a compass needle in the middle that always points north. It's a magnetic north. So it's been magnetized with what was called a lodestone and ships actually carried a lodestone. Um, basically, it was used to rub the metalwork of the needle and it magnetized it. And that always points to magnetic north. And then below the glass and the woodwork, um, you've actually got a painted uh, compass rose. So you've obviously got north, south, east and west and all the bits in between. And because it's on board a ship, and like I said, the ship would be rolling and lifting up and down, the compass needs to stay as flat as possible to give a regular and give an accurate reading. So as I will demonstrate, hopefully you might be able to see it, the compass is set so it moves forward and back and also left and right. So if you can imagine the ship rolling, hopefully you can see that, the compass will always remain as straight or as level as possible. And like I said, people needed this in the past because this was really the main way of knowing the direction you were going in. Compasses were uh, pretty old affairs. They've been around for some time. And prior to that, most people, and even later to be fair, was using the stars as well. But this will always tell you where Magnetic North was. Like I said, there's more than one. And if you were thinking of joining the Mayflower crew 400 years ago, you would hope that there were several of these on board because this will hopefully get you to the Americas. Interesting fact though, when the Mayflower did set sail 
uh, later this year, 400 years ago, uh, it didn't actually hit where it was meant to uh, aim for. And that's really down to the fact that these are accurate, the stars are accurate, but sometimes there are other errors, uh, human error, for example, which may make you go off course. And when you do go off course, you will hit America, but maybe not the place where you were planning on landing in the first place. Anyway, keep a lookout for Mayflower 400 stuff this year. Um, we're actually going to get involved with lots of things to do with Mayflower 400. It's really resting on uh, when the lockdown is completely gone and when museums and heritage sites open again, then you'll be able to see us. Um, I usually play Edward Winslow, the man that went to the King's School and eventually helped settle in America as one of the founding fathers of America. So this is a compass, many different sizes. This is just one of many that was carried on board a ship. It's beautifully made, as you can see, and it's accurate. It's accurate to the original ones, taken this one, from the ones found on the Mary Rose. Anyway, shorter video today. Hopefully tomorrow you will be able to see us uh, doing something else, maybe a mystery object, uh, maybe another piece of equipment that I've brought down, or maybe a character. You never know on this one. Um, bit of advice is please keep coming up with suggestions. We are open to many suggestions. And as we always say, this is as much your site as it is ours. So contact us. Uh, let us know what you want to see on YouTube uh, and especially if you need any help for homework. Uh, if there's any more suggestions from school children, please get into it straight away and we can do a personalised video either for your class or just for you as an individual. Anyway, stay safe everyone and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.